Rudy Giuliani has been dogged by questions in the past about his colleagues. Well, there is another one that has now arisen because of a defense of a longtime friend and chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross is here with that. Brian. Good morning, Diane. For Rudy Giuliani, it is apparently a case of loyalty to a close friend. But the friend is a priest accused of sexually abusing teenage boys and currently banned from performing his priestly duties by the church. And now some of the priest accusers want to know why Giuliani is defending and protecting him. When he went to Rome this year, Giuliani was accompanied by his wife Judith and his longtime friend and priest, Monsignor Alan Placa. Alan Placa has been a friend of mine for 30, 38 years, 39 years. I know him really well. Placa was a college classmate and best man at Giuliani's first wedding the priest at Giuliani's second wedding to Donna Hanover. And now, Placa works for Giuliani at his consulting firm, Giuliani Partners. That has outraged some of Monsignor Placa's former students and victims' rights groups who say the priest is a child molester who should not be protected by a man running for president. Anything that gives Monsignor Alan Placa uh, any credibility or access to kids uh, is very risky and dangerous, and we think that Giuliani, especially as a former prosecutor, should realize this. I'm Father Alan Placa, a priest of the Diocese of Rockville Center in New York. Monsignor Placa was told by the church to stop performing his priestly duties in 2002, as two former students and an altar boy came forward with their allegations. Alan Placa molested me in January of 1975, and that's when it started. Richard Tolder, now a mortgage broker in Albany, New York, was a student at a boys' Catholic high school where Placa taught. Appearing publicly for the first time, Tolder says the abuse started when he and Placa were making posters for a Right to Life march. As he started to explain how these posters should be done, I realized that something is rubbing my body, and I didn't know what it was, when after a minute or two I realized that he's feeling me. Tolna and the others testified before a grand jury in Suffolk County, New York, which concluded that Priest F, who Tolner says is Placa, had sexually molested three teenage boys, again and again and again. The report also accused Priest F of being instrumental in developing a church policy that used deception and intimidation to essentially keep the church scandal quiet. He was more concerned with protecting the priests protecting the reputation of the diocese and protecting the church coffers than he was protecting the children. No criminal charges were brought against Placa because of the statute of limitations, and he denied the allegations. It was just months later that Giuliani put Placa on the payroll of Giuliani Partners, where Placa now works. Giuliani defended Placa last week on the campaign trail after protesters in St. Louis and Milwaukee confronted him. Hasn't been accused of anything, hasn't been convicted of anything. We give some of the worst people in our society presumption of innocence and benefit of the doubt. And this is more than that. I mean, I know the man. I know who he is. So uh, I, I support him. This man did unjust things, and he's being protected and employed and taken care of. It's not a good thing. Monsignor Placa would not speak with us for this story, but a Giuliani spokeswoman did arrange for four other students from the same school, although from a different class, to vouch for Father Placa. They said they had not been molested and that they had never heard of allegations like this when they were at the school, Diane. All right, Brian Ross investigates. Thanks, Brian.